Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comments, let me know your thoughts on the case. UK drill rapper Mr Bando, who's from Tottenham and whose song features on Apple Music, Spotify and also YouTube channels like GRM and Linkup TV, is going to have to take a break from music after he was arrested for putting his machete to work. Now reports say that Mr Bando, real name Lewis Stacey, who's only 23 years old, had decided to leave his home in Tottenham, London and start a new life in Aberdeenshire. Unfortunately, in 2020, he got caught up with some wrong people and a confrontation ensued. On December 27th of 2020, two days after Christmas, Mr Bando had armed himself with a blade and put his ski mask on. He then went outside to a house in Fraser Burr, Aberdeenshire, shouting, come out the house or I'll set a light. The court heard that Mr Bando was trying to collect money he was owed. So, Stephen Ritchie and Gordon Graham were part of a group that confronted Mr Bando when he made a commotion. After an argument and tempers flared, Mr Bando unleashed his blade and swung at the two men. Stephen Ritchie suffered the most serious damage. The High Court in Edinburgh heard that Stephen's insides were left outside after he was targeted in the neck and stomach. Thankfully, Stephen, against all odds, survived through the injuries, even though the life-changing and permanent. As for Gordon Graham, he suffered injuries to his knee and he needed to go to hospital also. But he has made a full recovery after the wound was glued together. Hours after the incident, Louis Stacey, aka Mr Bando, had went back home, packed his bags, took his money and then went back to London Tottenham. He didn't report the incident or check in to see how the two men were doing. To make matters worse, Mr Bando left his ski mask at the crime scene, in which police took and did a DNA swab and evidence proved that Mr. Bando was there. Witnesses also says that the man who caused the damage and struck two people with his blade had a heavy Tottenham accent, and of course, he was caught on CCTV, if that wasn't enough. When he was arrested, Mr. Bando said he only acted in self-defence, as he felt outnumbered, and he did not know what else to do. He did not elaborate as to what the altercation was over either. However, it's rare for someone from London who makes music to travel all the way to Scotland and live a new life. During his court appearance, the jury decided against an attempted M charge, which for Mr. Bendel's saving grace, of course, but the judge warned him he still faces jail time. If you do the crime, then you gotta accept everything else that comes with it. Stay safe. Safe.